There is a ton of talk today going around about the idea of PlayStation being in trouble for 2022 because when you really consider it, they don't really have that many games planned. I feel like the biggest strength of PlayStation, whether it be the PS4 or the PS5, is definitely their exclusives. I'm a big fan of stuff like Ghost of Tsushima, Ratchet and Clank, and the new God of War seems fantastic, but as it currently stands on April 5th, the docket of what's coming soon is completely blank. But I want to talk about that and why I feel like people are sort of spreading very unnecessary lies. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast Guy here. Now, please, if you could, give this video a big like. I like when a video gets a couple thousand likes, and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, first and foremost, I feel like I have a different perspective on this situation than other people do because I have been a game reviewer for the last seven years. I have beaten hundreds and hundreds of games across all different platforms, but predominantly I enjoy playing stuff most on my PlayStation. I collect a lot of trophies, I get a lot of platinums, I like playing stuff even if it is third party on my PlayStation first. But I think that I've seen the ebbs and flows of what Sony does. There's definitely those different seasons. Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo each have their heydays. Those times where they're dropping back-to-back -back bangers. They're constantly hyping you up with new trailers, new demos, new big releases. But Sony, right now, it does feel like they're getting ready for a bit of a slumber. Now, what sort of instigated this is I saw that there's this big post on Reset Era today saying this. It's April 5th, and Sony doesn't have a single first-party game officially scheduled for release in the coming months or years. Now, technically, this is exactly correct. While they are about to show off uh, MLB The Show 2022, and we assume that God of War Ragnarok is coming this year, right now, there's nothing really out there on the docket. Now, obviously, a lot of gamers are straight up laughing at this post because it is just so stupid to seemingly imply that Sony is out of games. Like, just consider the fact that even tentative release dates, it sounds like we're going to be getting possibly Final Fantasy 16 this year. There is even rumors that we're going to get a Final Fantasy 16 demo relatively soon. This is just that time period where everybody is sort of pulling back. Right now, we had a bunch of releases, and also consider just thinking about this. Go down to the comment section people are talking about the fact that right now spider-man 2 is getting ready for next year wolverine maybe the year after that god of war ragnarok is probably coming this year and while we don't have a release date there is a lot of stuff that's coming soon this guy right here completely nailed it by saying that sony has just released horizon forbidden west which got incredibly high reviews Gran Turismo 7, which is in a bit of controversy, but also was very well loved by the community, and now MLB The Show 2022. It has been just a couple weeks. Now, if we're even talking just general exclusives, we had Ghostwire Tokyo come out just a bit ago, and Forspoken is still coming soon. Just for funsies, I actually decided to look at this thing. This is on PushSquare.com, and this is a bunch of PlayStation 5 games that currently have official release dates in 2022. Now, this stuff is first party and third party, and in this case we're talking about Sony first party stuff, but I still think it really just, just it brings home the point, the fact that if you have a PlayStation, you're not exactly hurting for stuff to play. The fact that Forspoken is definitely going to be an exclusive. Hogwarts Legacy got that state of play recently, but I do believe that's third party. Like, holy heck, there's just so many freaking games coming soon. Like, even if this stuff isn't exactly an exclusive, I think it's a great testament to the fact that PlayStation is not dead. PlayStation is still revving itself up for what I hope is going to be a great time. But you know what? I'm going to suck a little bit of Game Pass peen for a second, because let's talk about this. Right now we have this, uh, upcoming Xbox Series X games that are not coming to PlayStation 5 or Nintendo Switch. Consider the fact that games like Scorn, uh, Fable 4, uh, State of Decay 3... Uh, Starfield actually got a bunch of leaked screenshots this week, which I'm not going to post because I'm afraid of getting this video taken down, but Starfield is looking bigger and better. And you know what? Right now, Xbox is also being incredibly quiet. My point here, my point here is the fact that PlayStation has definitely started to change its tactics to video games in the last couple of years, which is that instead of just trying to flood you with a game every two months or another giant exclusive just as quickly as possible, they've realized that slowing down and sometimes shutting up is also for the best. 
There was a serious issue recently, which I feel like a lot of us have felt, which is people announcing games too early. A lot of gamers now, myself included, get incredibly annoyed when we just see some concept art or a freaking logo, or you should just, like show us a tiny little CG trailer for a game that is beginning development. Shut up. I think a lot of people now realize that sometimes as much as silence can hurt, be quiet and make the game. Impress us when it comes out. Instead of trying to do a series of tiny teases and cryptic tweets, sometimes it's better to just sit there, make the game, keep your head down, and then come out with a gigantic release whenever it's finally ready. And more and more, PlayStation seems to be doing that. Instead of just constantly beating their chest and talking about how they're going to win the console war, I think that silence in this case is definitely golden. Now, additionally, there have been a series of big statements that show that Sony is more and more focused on making sure they have high metacritics for each and every one of their games. Basically, not only do they want to have a game that's fun, they want to make sure that it stays high quality. Even if you don't like The Last of Us Part 2, The Last of Us Part 2 won a lot of awards as some of the highest reviews ever. And on the other side of the coin, consider something like Days Gone, which got a tremendous amount of blowback, and Days Gone 2 was immediately cancelled just because the review scores weren't high enough. It does seem like, more than anything else, Sony is obsessively focused on quality. They just want to make sure that people in general will like their games, that way they can sell and sell and sell. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I still truly believe that Ghost of Tsushima is one of the greatest PlayStation games ever made. That is such a freaking swordsmanship masterpiece. And so I don't want them to even talk about the idea of a Ghost of Tsushima 2 until that game is deep into development. I'm glad that right now Sony is just sort of shutting up and focusing on making the games get done. Now I do want to end this with a tweet by MBG. This guy is a little bit of a PlayStation fanboy. He's a Sony YouTuber, but he basically said this. I am baffled when people act like the idea of Sony having a big PlayStation 5 game showcase soon sounds like wishful thinking. It's literally necessary. June is always likely, but any time before June also seems just as realistic at this point. While I sometimes disagree with this guy, I feel like this is a very fair point, which is just the fact that basically, right now, Sony, it would be nice if you just told us what is definitely coming this year. Give us just a tiny hint as to what's behind the curtain. Let us know that the kitchen is still cooking up a delicious dinner. Or at the very least, show us some more ridiculously detailed gameplay for God of War Ragnarok. But what do you guys think? This has just been an off-the-cuff thought because honestly, it's been so ridiculous to watch people say Sony's got no games while we're having games come out. It drives me a little bit nuts. But you know what? No matter what system you play on, I hope you have a very good day. And please, keep dreaming. Boo -doo. I don't know why I did that. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.